Williams not available tonight. Henry Coleman is back for AM. He did not play in their come from behind win over Iowa State due to an ankle injury, but he is starting tonight's game. And in that game against Iowa State, they were down 21. So it was the largest comeback win in school history, and they did it while their forces were depleted. Yeah, they did that without Coleman and without Boots Rafford, as you mentioned. So Buzz Williams said he found out a lot about his team in a positive manner. Jump shot goes down for Jacob Groves. So good start for him inserted into the starting five tonight. Yeah, Groves started the first two games of the season. However, Blake Buchanan had a come-out performance against Florida and has been in the starting lineup since. Wade Taylor comes up short on the three, but there's the rebounding we've been talking about. Henry Coleman, here's Beekman, putting it on the floor, driving into contact, kicks it out for a three from McNeely, and it rattles home. three-point shooter last year and as we just mentioned 55 percent that'll go up after the three unable to answer is Hefner long rebound Beekman three on two at the hurry spot up three McNeely back to back triples for McNeely check that Anderson Garcia into the game excellent offensive rebounder the best in the country next pass by Garcia and the layup inside for Jace Carter quiet start for Taylor Dribbled off of a defender's leg and it somehow ended up underneath in the hands of Carter. Diving after basketball, they're used to it as part of their culture. Year five for Buzz Williams, but no stranger to this building. Spent five years at Virginia Tech. Three, and it's three already. Steps up and makes a big one for Virginia. Four threes in each of the last two games. And they've got three already here in the first six minutes. And that's not really the strength of Taylor, at least not this year. you got to be prepared for him to shoot it from 30 feet away. Beekman almost threw that out of bounds. Good save by McNeely. Nice pass underneath and done with the slam. And the dimension that Groves gives Virginia's ability to be able to put the basket. And Solomon Washington on the floor now for AM. He got his first start last game at a career high 18 points and a win. Drives here, nice finish off the window. Eli Lawrence came over and pointed to his head. Meaning use your head. Don't make a mistake like that on the road. McNeely getting into the lane. He points now for McNeely. That was the year they got knocked off in the first round by UMBC, but then came back the next year and won the national championship. I wasn't going to mention that. That's not something that is talked about but here. <laughs> Worked that perimeter. McNeely's got a couple threes already. Coleman extending on him. Beekman hangs and finishes with the left hand. His first points of the night. On the floor for Virginia to be successful is going to have to be Reese Beekman. The lead back to seven for Virginia. Beekman the leading scorer on the year, averaging 12 per game. Nice drive and finish by Henry Coleman. Take the lead after the three free throws by Taylor. McNeely on him. Here's Hefner, knocks down the three, and Texas A&M has the lead. Part because of those second chance opportunities. Rody gets through the lane, wild shot, but it drops through. He understands the task at hand and where he's bringing his team into. He's familiar playing in this building. Beekman able to get to the rim, stuff it home to tie the game at 24. Nice cut by Reese Beekman and a beautiful find as Miner is able to get on the floor. Hasn't gotten many minutes early in this season. Playing through a knee injury, blocked by Dunn against Coleman. For the bonus. Reese Beekman able to get in the painted area. You normally see Reese going at Rupp Arena. I think that contest would be a little different if they played on a neutral floor. Beekman with three to shoot, gives it up to Dunn, and Dunn drills a three. Virginia has the lead. Working on the three ball, and his work is paying off. His second three-point field goal here. Here's Beekman. Blows by one defender, banks it in. Shot clock down to five. McNeely had a couple threes in the first half. He's been quiet since. Timer at two. Roy did, and Rody able to bank it in. So what, it's late at night. The bank is still open. Let's call this just an ATM corner three. Free throws, AM only attempted five. 
Neither of these teams foul a lot as McNeely knocks down the jumper to give Virginia the 11-point lead. Again, AM is without Tyrese Radford, one of their top scorers. As Coleman gets two inside, he's got 14 points. Brody was really aggressive early in the second half, not as much of late. Dunn puts it on the deck, soars to the rim, and smashes it. Watch this action from Tony Bennett earlier in the first half, trying to get Ryan Dunn a rim run. Dave Passion, Corey Alexander in Charlottesville. As Henry Coleman now 16 points and 10 rebounds, single-handedly keeping Texas A&M in this game, considering the Aggies have only made one three this half. And Buzz Williams oftentimes goes to Henry Coleman, coming out of timeouts with a similar set. Henry takes advantage of it on that possession. Groves inserted into the starting lineup tonight. ACC chance from fans behind us. Knockoff number 14, Texas A&M, 59-47.